I feel so much better. If you caught my last couple of uh, videos, I have been under the weather a little bit. You can still hear it, but I feel good. I do, aside from a leg cramp that happened in the middle of the night. You know the ones that go up your calf. It's torturous, it's awful. And the best way to get rid of it is to get up and walk on it, which is like even more torturous, but you gotta do it. Anyone else, do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling much, much better though, but I'm still not taking any chances and I'm going to still do what I do. I shared this with you recently and uh, just kind of keep up on your vitamin C and your zinc and your vitamins, all the things, but I am happy to report. I am feeling really good now. So yay. Anyway, I thought today I would do a what I eat in a day for you guys. It's been a while and I will say though, from being kind of under the weather, I don't have like my appetite the last few days has not been like super high, but I actually am hungry now and oatmeal sounds good soothe the soul, you know? And I'm really excited to share with you guys and I'm partnering on this video with them, but this oven in the back there, do you see that? A couple weeks ago, I shared with you guys that I got that and I just hadn't got a chance to like really dive into it. Well, I will tell you, the last week now, Nate and I have been using it. It is amazing. I'm gonna give you the rundown. I'm gonna show it to you guys with holidays now too. It's like, treat yourself. I am telling you, and I'm gonna tell you my two favorite things about it too. It's a game changer, especially if you're like me. Anyway, but I'm gonna share that with you guys too and we'll make something in it later as well, I'm sure. So again, this is from Fotile. It's a four-in-one convection oven, but here's what it has. It has the obviously just the oven, air fryer, dehydrator, and steamer. I don't know if I live under a rock. I don't know, I might, but I don't feel like I find ovens like that, and I'm gonna show you close up, that have the steaming function. And then I was kind of like, well, is it gonna work though? Like, what are we talking here? <laughs> It's phenomenal, it's so good. We did asparagus in it yesterday. I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna do it again. It was so good. But let me show you like a close up of it real quick too. You see what I mean, it's really cool. Let me show you real quick inside and in fact, I have still, that's what you use for steaming. It's so cool, my friends, I'm not lying. I did it yesterday with the asparagus. But what's cool is like when you open it up right here on the inside of the door, it has like all the things here as a quick reference which is really, really nice. And then it also comes with a glove here, or mitt, and then the other two racks, of course. But here's where I'm just kind of like, this is cool. This is what makes it different. So there's still actually some water in it from when we did it yesterday, but you just fill that little part right there, and that works as your steamer. It worked so good. Okay, and then here, again, so I wasn't uh, you know, overwhelmed, you just hold that down, and then everything is right here. It's so pretty, right? And then you do the steam, right? For veggies, it recommends you do the low steam so you just move it over to the low steam one and it's already auto set for you and again this is like one of my favorite features i love this and uh then you just turn it on right here and actually you know what? let me just do it real quick just to show you set your time there you go and now it's going now this is my second favorite feature it's on the preheat right now but i tell you it sounds just the same when it's actually going it is so quiet, my friends. I'm gonna show you on the air fry function too because if you have an air fryer already, you know they're wonderful, but they're loud. They can be so loud, right? You guys always hear me say, I'm not gonna film when I'm doing something in the air fryer because you can't hear. That's how loud it is. I'll give it a minute. That's it. That's, it's awesome. It is so awesome. So then you just go back if you wanna stop it or change your time or anything, just go back. It's like a phone. It's fantastic. Broil, convection bake. And then what you can also do is the steam bake, which is really, really cool too. And it kind of like, it'll bake it, but it'll keep a lot of moisture in it. That's what makes it different too. But let me go to the air fry and I'm just gonna turn it on as if I'm air frying something right now. Again, I want you to hear it. And just go right over. It's so quiet. So quiet. I love it. Oh, it's music to my ears, my friends. Now I will say, is it a little bit, it's kind of hard to see the angles here. And of course, all the dimensions will be like on the product itself, linked in the description box, of course, but it's a little bit big, but it's actually perfect. If you have like a corner section in your kitchen, which I feel like most people do, it works perfectly. And it's actually like that perfect length out where it's not like totally push back too. Does that make sense? But I would say definitely check the dimensions, make sure it's gonna work for you. But I am so into this, my friends. This is going to be a game changer. 
We love it. We love it. It's awesome. Oh, and then it lights up too if you want to check on your things. It's fantastic. We're gonna play with this later, but I just wanted to share that with you too. And again, it will be linked below. Check it out. I highly, highly recommend. This is very, very, very nice. And then just turn it off like that. All right, let's make some oats. I got some quick cooking oats here. I'm gonna do a fourth of a cup-ish and some cinnamon. Now, if you've been with me a while, you know that I used to live off of this little combo with oatmeal. I love it. And I shared with you guys recently on the last vlog that uh, I have like that oatmeal cake that I make. That's really good too. I do still have some, but I just want a warm cup of oats today, you know? So I'm gonna put some water, heat it up. Now, while that's going in the microwave, I thought I'd just show you really quick. These are the teas that I have been, I already had one today, in fact, but been using the last few days. This is like my all-time favorite go-to, the traditional medicinals, Echinacea Tea, Echinacea Plus. This one has elderberry in it, which is also what I really like to incorporate when you're under the weather. And then I also have this Yogi one, the elderberry lemon balm one really, really good. And then I also have the Echinacea Immune Support, we ain't messing around, uh, from Yogi as well. Uh, this one, it's really, really good too. The lemon balm one is, is just really yummy. It is, that lemon comes through, it's nice. And then I'm gonna have some orange juice too. Gotta do it, but I am feeling so much better. Oh, thank goodness, because that is not fun. Never got a fever, nothing like that. It, I think it was the true cold, but yeah, I am doing much, much better but we're not gonna take no chances. So I had a cup of coffee this morning too, just black. That's it, so I had a cup of tea, cup of coffee. Call it good. All right, I'm very simple with my oats. I really am, but do them however of course you like. I'm gonna use some powdered peanut butter. Now, I don't know if this really makes any sense at all because this, at the end of the day, is still peanuts. I just do like one good size-ish scoop. I have not said anything, because I mean, don't hold me to it. <laughs> But I have not been eating peanut butter, I know. I know, it's crazy, that as much anymore. And there is Conscious Eater is her channel name. I don't even know her name. She's kind of new to me. Uh, but I think she's been doing YouTube a, a while. But she really struggled with like cystic acne. So do I. I get it around like my jawline and neck that can totally be like a hormonal thing as well. She was testing not eating peanuts. And I'm like, oh no, the humanity. <laughs> but uh, I was like, well, it really worked out well for her if she was like eliminating that and the acne was a lot better. So I was like, maybe I'll try it, you know. And it's been like a couple months that I haven't really had pure peanut butter but again this has peanuts so i mean i'm not like foolproof here at all and hemp seeds delicious oh yes oh yes so good for you get your omegas my friends so i've just kind of been dabbling with it and i can't lie it's been a little better but i'm not giving it up i'm not i just haven't had it as much i mean you knew me i could like find a way to eat peanut butter with vegetables. Dip a carrot, so good. Got some walnuts, just a little handful here. Walnuts, simple. And then my blueberries. This was what I always did. And instead of the powdered peanut butter, I would always do like a scoop of like real peanut butter on top. So that's the only way that I've really changed it. But I mean, it tastes the same, but it's not 100%. First bite, warm the soul. Yep. Mm hmm. I've had this for years. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat this up. I'll meet you back here probably for lunch. I'm gonna do that asparagus. I'm gonna do it. I gotta show you. That thing is really, really cool. So, this is the whole package of asparagus from Trader Joe's. I just trimmed it and I'm gonna put it on here just like that, nothing on it. And then again, we're gonna turn it on, go to low steam, and that's it. We'll let it go. And then I was gonna make a little bit of this. I've never tried this before. I got it at Smith's, also known as Kroger. And I'm gonna try this out. It was on sale and I'm gonna give it a whirl. Now, don't look at the sodium at this, it's terrible. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna have like half. 
give it a whirl. They have a broccoli cheddar one too, but they were out of it. So they gave me this loaded potato soup. It sounds really, really good. So this will take about 15 minutes and I'm gonna show you when it's done too. Like, it, you'll see, you'll see. But let's put the light on because you know, it's fun to look at it, you know. All right, let's give it the smell. It smells good, I'm in. I'm gonna do like half. That'll be good. So I've had some people ask, where do I get these bowls from? And I got them years ago at Costco. They do come around this time of year there because holidays and stuff. And so keep your eye out. I haven't seen these ones specifically, but I wouldn't be surprised if they have something similar um, or they might bring them back. But it was a six pack and I think it was like 15 bucks and they're great for soup and oatmeal. Just wanna show you kind of the halfway point. I'm sorry, the glare, but you can see, and look, you can hear the steam. It's doing its magic. It smells so good. And I'm still kind of congested and I can smell it. <laughs> it smells great. All right, it is done. Are you ready? Here we go. It works so good. <laughs> Look at it. Okay, I'm gonna use my little glove here. I just want you to see. Perfectly steamed asparagus. Yum. Soup looks good too. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper and then a little bit of pepper on these too. And I got a handful here of mixed nuts from Trader Joe's. And then I'm also gonna have one of these too. I'm one of those people that hot tea like on your sore throat is like great, but I also love carbonated stuff on my throat too. It's like, it scratches that itch, you know? <laughs> anyway, I wanna try this for you though too. Uh, see what we think. I'll try the asparagus. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So good. Wait, I'm ser serious. We did it yesterday. It was bomb. Okay, let's try the soup. That is not bad. It's a little thin for being like a creamy soup, but it's still really good. I'm sold. Lunch. Midday snack, garlic and onion pistachios from Trader Joe's and a banana. Okay, sorry, I had to kind of refilm this part because it was too dark where I had you. Can't do that. So I'm gonna do dinner now and I'm gonna make an impossible burger lettuce wrapped. And recently I had one of you ask, as silly as it might sound, I got you, I got you. Like, how do you do it? I'm gonna show you. Now, sometimes it's messy, sometimes it ain't pretty, but it's always delicious, it is. So Nate's running a little bit behind tonight, but it's an easy meal and I'm gonna do this for myself and then I have some extra to do another batch when he does get home. These are the Japanese sweet potatoes. I cut them maybe like a half inch. And we're gonna air fry them in that oven. I put a little bit of garlic powder on them and I sprayed it lightly with a little bit of avocado oil and then a little bit of pepper. Went a little heavy on that one. It's gonna be delicious. I'll tell you though, you really don't need to put anything on these potatoes. I'm obsessed. The Japanese sweet potatoes are the best. They're so, so good. But I'm gonna air fry these for myself. Little dog's having his meal. <laughs> and I'm gonna just cook up an impossible patty. I'm super simple. I'm gonna double check, but I think I'm out right now, but I love, my favorite way to do it, impossible patty. A little bit of ketchup mustard, a little bit of the follow your heart blue cheese. I love it. And then onion crispies, oh yes. And then you wrap it all up and you eat it up. And this will be my side, but yeah, I think I'm out of that cheese right now. Next time, that's all. Anyway, let's put these in the air fryer. Now on my board here is just a little bit of the underneath where I sprayed it and the pepper and stuff. So does your mama teach you to do it like this too? You take your iceberg lettuce, I pull off some of the top leaves, they were kind of going bad, and you hit it. You hit it hard, and that helps like take out the core. I mean, you could cut it out, but you know, you can, if you can hit something, you do it. So you go like this, just like that. Look, then it comes right out. <laughs> Did you know? There's the core. It's so fun. And then what happens when you do that, typically, not always, but typically, I mean, you gotta be a little careful, a little delicate. The leaves, you usually get some pretty good size leaves off of it then. Just be careful, take your time. And you're just gonna kind of create a base. 
And then, I, I mean, Nate does it like perfect for me. He does. I'll eat it any which way, I don't care. But uh, you can do like a top layer and stuff too. But sometimes you can put the burger just in it and just like cocoon it in there, just like that. I personally think iceberg lettuce, butter lettuce is really good too, but iceberg lettuce for this particular thing, for the burgers, I don't know. It's so simple and it's so, so good every time. Okay, this will be good for me. I'll probably just cocoon it and then he can make some with this. My kiddo has been so on a kick of the burgers too, but he likes it on a bun, which is totally fine. But yeah, I'll just do it like this. And then again, when I have everything in there, I just kind of like close it up and just go. <laughs> By the way, that's air frying right now. You can't hear a thing. It's just this light little hum. The one we have before works great but it, it's loud, it is. Anyway, I got the uh, Impossible Burgers here. These ones are from Costco, and this is our last pack. We, When they went on coupon the last time, we actually bought like five packs, and we put them in our freezer out in the garage, and we are on our last bit here. They're the best, they're so, so good. I mean, everyone's probably seen them or had them at this point but these are a staple for us, my friends. I love them. And my favorite way to season them, and I, we cook them on the grill, but it's really windy today. And I can just do it on the stove top too. But I love the barbecue 101 seasoning from Trader Joe's. Put a little bit of that on there. That's all. It is so delicious. So I'm just gonna heat this through on the stove top. Call it good. They are done. I just pulled one out, it was 15 minutes, and it's super soft, it is good. And I'm just gonna leave them in there until my burger is done. Oh my gosh, my friends, these are so good. Japanese sweet potatoes, just do it, just trust me, just do it. All right, burger is done. I'm gonna grab the potatoes. I'm losing light, I gotta adjust to this time change. <laughs> Use like tongs or something, don't burn yourself. You know me. This was just like two small, medium-ish potatoes. Oh, no. Look at that. So, so good. Okay, so put it on there. Now you could do your tomato and your pickle and onion and all the things that people do. I just don't. <laughs> I like just ketchup mustard. Sometimes I change it up with just a little bit. Not, not too much with a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce instead. But this is my go-to, this is. And I love mustard, so I go a little heavy on the mustard. I like it. And then, get the big bag, splurge. Just do it, so good. But yeah, normally I'd put a little bit of uh, blue cheese crumbles too. Gotta pick that up this week for sure. So yeah, you can do it then from here and just, I'm, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Nate usually will get another big piece and put it over the top, but you just literally go like this, wrap it up and go. I'm not trying to take a picture and stuff, you know the drill, but that is it. I got the picture, now let's eat. They're so good. Yeah, you just go like this. And, I, and I've told you guys on like my hauls and stuff, I don't really do this to be like all low carby or anything. I really don't. I mean, I guess it's it's a good way to do it, but like I just prefer for burgers, the taste so much more without the bread, just on this one meal. <laughs> I have this a couple times a week. True what I eat in a day. <laughs> I love it, every time. Mm! There is a hockey game tonight and I will likely have myself a bag of skinny pop popcorn as I do. I love that. But I think that's pretty much gonna wrap it up, my friends. Check out the Fotile oven in the description box. You guys will love it. It is so nice, it really is. I am so happy with it. It'll definitely be used daily in this house. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for coming back as you always do. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Mm.